Oh, hello everybody, this is Beat the Bush. Today I'm gonna to review this GSI Outdoors Spice Missile. It's mainly for camping. You can put six different spices of about 0.1 ounces each. I just got this for myself, not really for camping camping, but for urban camping where I'm going to work remotely somewhere for maybe a month. And sometimes you just want your own spices still. With that said, let's take a really close up look at this thing so you guys know what you're getting yourself into. I'll leave an affiliate link down in the video description below. Spice Missile, they also have a Spice Rocket which has 0.5 ounce in each compartment. There's also six compartments. So it's really like a much bigger version of this one. They lock it in place from the top and you can unlock this from the packaging like that and it comes with a bunch of labels pepper salt cinnamon onion basil cocoa but unfortunately no taco in case you want to see what it says on the back of the packaging there's one page and there's the other page here's the lid the threads you just twist this one open and you can access to the second level and the third level, you'll notice it contains two small hole lids and one slightly bigger hole lid. I'm gonna open this up. You can turn it a little bit. If you have pepper here and very little salt here, you can dispense them at the same time. I can't quite stick my finger in there. <laughs> Underside of this one, for this one, it's the same thing. There's a little trick door at the bottom. You open this up and it has another lid with a really big hole in it. So you can put this lid on and carefully take your spices out or just empty it all out or use this to fill it back in so you don't accidentally get spices on uh, in the other hole. I'm actually house sitting right now, so I don't have a funnel. I don't want to dig around to try to find one, but this paper solution works very well. You just take a piece of paper, wrap it around like this, twist it a little bit and leave a little hole at the end and you got yourself a funnel. You just kind of hold it close like this. This is taco seasoning, so I don't think it'll last very much. You can probably only use it two times uh, before it's out. I accidentally spilled some, so I'm gonna put the bottom disc one with the big hole and then pour it back out into there. Okay, did that pretty easily. So just like that, I did one spice. I think I'll put the cumin in the next one. So this time I'm gonna leave that half circle on that one. It settles a bit, so yeah, you gotta do it again. I slide the paper together and it tightens up the hole and no more spice will go down once this is filled enough. And if I want more, I kind of slide it open a little bit. Like, like that, I'm exaggerating and it'll open up the hole and I put in some more. So now I got the cumin and the taco seasoning in there. Seems like I could fill up the taco seasoning a little bit more. By the way, the lid here, you can very easily twist it like that and I can add more taco seasoning. Now I got one of them done. Now I'm gonna try to put it in without any funnel. Kind of works. If you have a small bottle, you can kind of just pour it in. All right, kind of tap it a little bit to make it settle in a little bit more. So you can add a little bit more. That's pretty easy for the garlic powder. Let's do the onion powder on the other side. I think it'll be just as easy. And then these are actually from a grinder. So I just gotta grind a whole bunch of them out. When you grind it, it's not gonna be as flavorful anymore after a while. So, you know, just fill it up with just enough. Now for the sea salt. So that was 10 half turns and it filled it up about halfway. Usually I use about a quarter turn, so it looks like it can last me about 40 times for the salt. The pepper was about 20 half turns, and I usually use maybe four or five turns, so it looks like the pepper might only last maybe four or five meals, I think. Here's a spice missile all filled up. One thing that is a little disappointing is that when you close it completely shut, you twist them all shut, right? I would have liked it to align, the, these lines right here to align so that I can just have one glance see all the spices. When it's not aligned, you gotta turn it a little bit, just a little bit of nitpicking here. Give this a try. There's your garlic powder. And I want onion powder. I'm gonna turn it over to the other side. Onion powder, great. 
Now I close this. You usually want to close it before you use the next one. And I think some of it spilled out because I didn't completely twist close it. Here's the salt. Yeah, that's about enough for one meal right there. And then the pepper. Turn it right here, pepper. Ooh, it might be too coarse for um, the pepper holes here. I probably have to remove the cumin and put it here and move the pepper over here because the taco seasoning and the pepper is the coarsest and it might need these bigger holes here. But let's just continue. This is the taco seasoning. Got some taco seasoning there. And then we twist it over here. I think this is the cumin. Right there. Cumin. Great. You twist it back close. So there you have it. One very compact spice missile. This is your typical garlic powder. It's about three ounces. It's quite slimmer than that, but just having one of these things, you're ready to go for camping for at least four meals. If you use a lot of pepper, that is. I got onion here. Onion powder. Garlic. Salt. Cumin. Pepper. None of them is taco, so I guess I'll just leave the label off for taco seasoning. For those observant enough, I did move the pepper from this spot down here. Now I have this coarse dispenser to dispense the coarse taco seasoning and also the coarse black pepper. I'm having a little issue threading it. You gotta be careful not to strip the thread there. So there you have it all loaded up and ready to go. Thanks for watching this review. If you guys are gonna get this spice missile, check out my affiliate link down in the video description below. It will help this channel out if you order it through that link and it won't be more expensive for you. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.